What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Have y'all ever wondered how to get Apple Music working on Windows? Well today, I'm going to show you just how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our web browser, okay, so we got our little web browser down here, it's pretty cool, oh, need to bring it over onto the screen. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to type in Cider Apple Music. Once we've done that, we go to this website called Cider SH, and what this is, is an open source community oriented Apple Music client. And so this will let you listen to Apple Music on Windows, Linux, and yes, even Mac OS, even though you could already listen to Apple Music on that. Don't know exactly why I did that, but I mean, hey, that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to download it for Windows, but now over here they have stable, nightly, and Windows. Don't click on this one because this one costs $2. This is open source software, so it's technically free. So what you want to do is click on EXE, Windows Executable. And now we're going to have this executable download. Depending on your internet speeds, it could be anywhere from like a minute to a couple of minutes. So yeah, there we go. It should be done in a minute. One thing that I would like to note about this is that it does not support lossless audio. However, it does have a nice sort of uh, ability to scale up the audio to where it sounds better than the typical AAC encoding of uh, iTunes. If it gives like this warning, say keep anyway, the reason it warns is because not many people have downloaded this application, so that's why it is a warning. But it is definitely a safe application. Of course, as always, it is a very good idea to scan files just in case, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, zero threats found. So we're good. Now we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna open it. Now it has a license term. That's basically uh, the open source uh, general public license. So we're gonna agree to it. And then I'm the only user on this computer. So I'm just gonna click next. But if you have more users that wanna use Apple Music, you would go with this option up here. Now we're gonna click next. And then we just hit install. So. Yeah, it's installing now, and now we'll just click finish and it's going to run Cider up automatically. And now we get this little application down here. It says, before we start, requires an active paid Apple Music subscription. So yeah, you're going to have to own Apple Music to do this. And it'll basically work with any of the plans except for the Apple Music voice plan as they say here. But yeah, it should just work with pretty much anything. Now we're going to click next. So first it'll ask you which theme you want, so if you want it to look more like the typical Apple Music, you'd use Maverick, but if you want it to kind of look like uh, Cider, which is what this client is, then you go with Mojave. I'm going to do Maverick. And now it has custom tuned, designed audio. This basically just improves audio a little bit, so I'll just leave it checked. But if you don't want the extra audio processing, you can always turn it off. And now it'll ask you to sign into Apple Music. So I'm going to do that right now. You're going to need your Apple ID. And now we click next. And then if you have two-factor authentication, you'll have to do that as well. So I'm going to do that real quick. And now, yeah, we click trust this browser, which is basically going to be the application. And voila, we're now in Apple Music. And so over here you can see recently played songs. It will pull that from iCloud, by the way. You can also go over to albums and it'll show your albums collection. So this is kind of what my albums collection looks like on Apple Music. And then it can also show like artists that you follow and whatever. So here's just some artists that I follow. And then also show like your uh, different playlists and stuff. So yeah, there you go. That's kind of music I listen to. But as you can see, this is just straight up Apple Music working. And it's got like a lot of cool features as well. Now I'm not going to go over all of them, but here are some things that you can do. Over here we have this audio settings tab, and so I'm going to go over to that. You have an equalizer, volume controls, change playback rate, and cider audio lab. Now this is the one that's really interesting, because over here we have this, which just kind of improves the audio a bit, and it basically makes the like perceived sound better. And then you have like different options for this. Of course, you do not have to go through any of these menus at all, but you can kind of, uh... You can kind of change, like, how the audio sounds, do some post-processing, or in other words, change, like, how the output of it will sound to you. 
And you can even do like spatialization. It's kind of supposed to be more or less like Dolby Atmos, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't use spatialization on this personally, but that's just me. Other things that you can do is you can actually go ahead and click AirPlay. And if you have like any uh, TVs or Apple TVs that support AirPlay, you can actually just connect to them. Like it'll actually AirPlay, which is really nice. You can also do a queue and like set up music in that or whatever. It has your music history. I mean, this basically is just full featured Apple Music on Windows. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. If y'all would like to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and uh, click the like button and make sure to press subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.